y'all, honey, I said, I know, I know whatever just happened between the enemy and the weather. Y'all, good morning. I said, I know between the inner, uh, the, the, the enemy and the weather, what, what they not finna do is cut me off while I'm talking about, um, uh, calf, captains and crowns. So, um, I just went on and, and regrouped real quick and came right on back. <laughs> Cause what they not gonna do is keep me from not sharing my excitement and enthusiasm about what's coming. So I'm just going to chat it up a little minute and let everybody who was, um, who was um over there on the other one to come on over to the new home lori girl it's not gonna stop me today <laughs> girl I, I put my lipstick and captain on one of them on for for, for visual effects so <clears throat> y'all gonna hear about captains and crowns today all right so i'm gonna go ahead and um and put it good morning lee i'm gonna go ahead and put the title again down here in this comment section because you know i don't know what happened to the other one and y'all all i can tell you is every detail will be thought through to make sure that it is an incredible experience i'm just reminding you make sure you have your book make sure that when you sign up you sign up with you you know indicating that you one of the people who got that i'm going to make sure that i send an invite out to everybody who's in the portal again the, yes he is sarah sarah did you feel and hear the theme honey i didn't see you all here early i didn't get to tell you hi uh i hope all the other people called the other people over here i didn't know if mary uh mary and uh, carrie came i had already seen um Latanya, I hope she jogged on over here. I had seen several other people, so go on and you know make sure they found their way to the new location. But captains and crowns, uh, Sarah, and look at how I spelled it somewhere in the comments, girl. I'm gonna get the information out when you sign up. If you have your book, you go ahead and do it that route. If you don't have your book, I'm gonna be honest, I don't quite know what that's gonna do because I literally, by the grace and the support of y'all, have four left. That's that's what we got. So if you got a good girlfriend, you say, man, she needs to come to Captains and Crowns. I already know the conversation going to be lit. I know the captain's going to be beautiful. I know the food and the celebrating, all that good stuff going to do what it do. She needs to be here for this type of combo. Yeah, more than anything, y'all, that's going to be the richness of what we will have. We do very well trying to manage our conversations and engage online. But can you imagine, sis, being in the room? y'all we're gonna be in the room and um and we're gonna have some very meaningful conversations that will lift us you say you almost fell off the trail man <laughs> girl girl get on up be safe be safe all right so we're gonna go on over to day 25 again good morning good morning good morning darkest good 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 honey captains and crowns that's where we're going captains and crowns all right so day 25 crossfire honey this one is so good this one's so good this one is so good y'all because we're talking about that queen Bathsheba now I'm gonna jump in here because I already realized I didn't use that many of my minutes talking about captains and crowns can y'all call some of the other girlfriends because they I don't know I didn't want to lose them like that I don't see Mary Ann over here yet? Can you tell me if you're here? I don't see Latonya yet. Can it can Latonya? Can you tell me if you're here? Um, you know, Ann, I don't see my cousin Ann over here yet. I don't see Gwen Hall who be acting like she up in here. Um, let's see. I don't see, you know, a lot of the people who had jumped on on the other Bobby Ra Bobby Wagner. I don't see her over here yet. Um, let's see. I don't know, but y'all know the people get the get to tap them, tell them we to move to the new room in case they sitting in the other room. Or Linda McCoy, I don't I don't see her name on here, and maybe y'all did already switch. I just don't see you yet. Good morning, Tracy from Lagrange, Antoinette West. I don't see her, Brittany. I don't see her, Nyjah and Lorena. Make sure the people didn't get lost. Um. Over there on the other signal where it dropped and they sit over there waiting on me to come back. I I didn't come on back. I just went on over to a different room. All right. Y'all call them. All the people y'all know. Especially Tonya. She had already told me hi. So I know she's somewhere. Okay. So anyway, today's affirmation. Because we're about to talk about this Queen Bathsheba real quick. But y'all get this part. Anybody who done been through anything. And y'all know it was because of some other stuff. Listen, it says, 
I declare. Good morning, Crystal. Did you, girl, read it? Hear about the hear about the event, girl? Sharon. Okay, good. I see you telling me that you're here. Okay, very good. Today's affirmation. I declare. Come on, everybody. Wherever you are on page 101. Thank you for that, Jen. 101. 101. Day 25. All right. And real quick, the quote on the side says, "Oh, I love these quotes on the sides." It says, "Queen, sometimes no is the perfect answer." Queens, sometimes no is the perfect answer. All right, so day 25 crossfire on page 101, insights from Bathsheba, queen of Israel. Today's affirmation, I declare that my life is free from the residue of negative choices made by others. Moving forward, my life will be reflective of having mercy and grace follow me all the days of my life. I go forward in my renewed state and clean start. Okay, and somebody text, um, I'm sorry, I dropped my phone. And I dropped it because my sister just uh, texted me. I think she did anyway. Um, let Michelle know that we over here. Somebody tag Michelle Jerkins so she'll know we done moved to the different rooms. Y'all, y'all call the people so they don't have, all have to hit me up on my phone and let them know we we came over here. Um, Michelle, let's see who else. Good morning, Antoinette. You, I'm gonna have to recap the event one more time. Latonya, oh good, Sarah, you got it. All right. And yeah, and y'all do that. Y'all keep checking with the people. Make sure they they found us over here. Cheryl, good morning, sis girl. And I hope you got your book. Real quick, y'all. It's called Captains and Crowns. That's the event. Look for my comments somewhere in the thing. Bree, I hope you can make it all the way from Ohio. That would do our hearts good. All right, Captains and Crowns. I'm gonna type it in one more time. Um, for those of you who 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 made your way on over to the new setting, because I was talking too hard about. About it and and some tried to cut me off but i said i'm gonna be great today captains and crowns okay very good you got it um fine um um tamala i think her name is is tamala i'm trying to see the last name in my head and there's tabitha tabitha normally comes in here and kathy mackey i'm trying to find the people because the live tried to drop us today and we don't we don't do that all right so here we go so let's go back affirmation everybody page 101 i'm gonna try to go and get, get through it if we drop again we just gonna go on for the day so y'all gonna be blessed okay in advance i honor the greatness that's on the inside of all of y'all but here we go today's affirmation i declare that my life is free from the residue of negative choices made by others moving forward my life will be reflective of having mercy and grace follow me all of my days i go forward in my renewed state and clean start i go forward good morning ricky i go forward. i know you're gonna kill this captain and crowns that's the thing i go forward in my renewed state and clean start I go forward. So again, I declare that my life is free from the residue of negative choices made by others. Moving forward, y'all with me? Moving forward, my life will be reflective of having mercy and grace follow me all of my days. I go forward in my renewed state and clean start. Everybody say clean start start you can verbalize it at home if you're driving you can just say it out loud or you can just you can put it in the comments clean start so the short of it is we about to talk about that queen Bathsheba right and we understand that her life reflected some poor uh, had residue of poor choices that were made by somebody else now that allows all of us to invite ourselves into that storyline and to really get the lesson from the queen today if somehow you found yourself in a divorce and God knows that was not your intention but it, it kind of went that way and we know you know we know it could be some stuff that happened on both sides but largely you're in that space because perhaps 
the person chose abusive behavior or chose infidelity or just chose to be a pathological liar or just chose to, to act in certain ways, whatever that may have looked like, right? And so the residue of that person's choices shows up in your life or we can run it back. We can run it all the way back for many women when they were just children, right? And whether a parent, a mom looked the other way when, when the boyfriend was in the house or invited inappropriate people into the space and because of that parent's choice and then the choice of the subsequent person adult or otherwise there's residue of their actions and their behaviors that show up in your in your life whether it's in your memories or or in a dysfunctional piece of your heart man the residue is in a defunctional piece of your heart or even has some implications on your body. We know that there are women because of childhood um, trauma who grew up then not being able to be women who could bear children. So whatever that is, maybe somebody made a poor choice and it has shown up in your finances because you had to bail out uh, situations or or particularly as I've shared with you, um, in doing an investment, the person was fraudulent and her fraudulent behavior has had a temporary uh -huh, residue on my life because I'm believing for victory, right? Whatever it looks like for you, each of us can find ourselves really processing that there are circumstances and situations in my life that I didn't have complete control over, that somebody else's choice has impacted my life even to this day. Some of you are singlehood parenting because of choices that someone else has made. Some of you have grief in your life and losses because of decisions that someone else has made. So if you can understand that, if you're, if you're there, just put here in the comments so other women can say, me too, I got it, that's me, I got a situation, I'm not going to tell you all the details this morning, but I get it, that there are some spaces in my life that are, are um, they are evidence of the choices that someone else has made. And so again, we say clean start, clean start. So the scripture, oh y'all, receive this girl, y'all, receive this scripture on today. Receive this scripture on today. Honey, everybody receive this scripture on today. I love you, Nyjah. Re y'all, re listen to me, Yolanda, Nyjah, um, Ricky, Crystal, Latanya, Dolores, Michelle, Ann, uh, Sharice, Mary, Antoinette, receive this scripture today. Receive this scripture today. It says, and the Lord will, and the Lord will. Good morning, Olivia. And the Lord will. Y'all receive it, Tracy, R Olivia. Y'all receive this today. It says, and the Lord will. Do y'all hear me? And the Lord will restore to you. And the Lord will restore to you the years, honey, that the locust has eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the and the parma, parma worm, my great army, which I sent among you, and the Lord will. Now, that's a whole context. I'm going to have to teach what was going on and why it was sent and how that's why it's called crossfire, how it was sent among the people and because the the children of Israel were dwelling among the people. This wasn't one of those times where the Lord allowed them to put the blood on the on the doorpost and everything skipped over them. This was one of those times where they were among the people. And so when the when the when the locust and the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm all came into being Lily and got to crawling and creeping and chewing up crop and destroying and messing up, um, they too experienced it. But God said and I will restore. Now this, this is the beautiful, y'all hear me. This is the beautiful thing about this, this particular one, because it says my great army, which I sent a monkey, right? So get this. If I am the one who sent it, right? If I am the one who sent it, you best believe I am the one who can restore it. See, it's one thing for folk to try to come in and fix up what somebody else messed up. Have y'all ever done that where you're at work or you're at home or you're in a situation and you're trying to go in behind what somebody else has messed up or, 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 or caused to have a bit of whatever and 
if you have experienced like I have experienced, like sometimes that's worse. That's harder. When somebody else to mess up the stuff on the computer, sometimes it's harder for you to go in and try to fix up what they done messed up versus just starting all the way over. Just starting all the way over. And even though you and you kind of know like, man, that's going to take a whole lot of time. The fact that 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 somebody else messed it up sometimes takes too much work for you to go in behind and try to fix up because you're not the one that created it and you can't really figure out what went wrong and where that broke and 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 how did they lean that up like that and how did they make that how did they rig that sometimes it's too much of all of this if you're not the author of it for you for for you to go back in and solve everybody following me right so when we look though at this scripture honey this is the beautiful piece this is the beautiful Beautiful piece. He said, I sent it so I can restore it. See, God is not confused. He's not confused about where that, that thing broke and how it sent ripple effects through your life. God is not confused about how that divorce came through it and hit at your self-esteem or hit at your finances. And even though you remarried and you have moved on, sometimes your memories can jog back over there and you wonder what went wrong and, and how am I ever going to really remove this area of distrust from my heart and this brokenness that kind of happened in that situation. God is not is not confused about when he can perhaps not cause but allowed that betrayal to happen in your life and even though you got up and you picked up the pieces something about you still second guesses good stuff because you wonder okay when is this best thing going to betray me just like that best friend or that ministry or whatever like God is not confused if he's allowed it he knows knows the origin and the core and he can work in the details and bring restoration in a way y'all that will not even allow the resemblance of the struggle to have been there have you ever gone and had something be so repaired that if when you try to find the original break or you try to find the kink that indicates where the where the split had originally happened you don't even see the proof of the repair because it is done so well. I've had shoes be resold, resold and rehealed so well that they look better than when they were brand new. Do y'all hear me on this morning? That is the type of God. If a man can do that, if I can take in one of my favorite pairs of shoes where the little heel thing has come off and the sole is so scratched and he can repair it in such a way that the restoration is better than the, y'all, the restoration is better than the brand new how much more our daddy God somebody better receive it on this morning God can repair in such a way that the restoration looks better than the brand new and we receive it on today good morning Steve Terry good to see you um over here with the Queens y'all welcome Steve past pastor Steve Terry y'all find his name and go and give him some love we not used to having the men come into our good reflection time but we welcome you on this morning into the community but back to it y'all so the scripture says and the Lord will restore to you the years that the locusts um, have eaten the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm and the palmer worm all the worms and stuff Latonya I don't know quite what they mean when we meet up I'm going to study that part but the restoration that's what I'm declaring y'all hear me on this morning the restoration the restoration the restoration the restoration that is coming for us y'all it will be the full repair to the point that there will be nothing missing everybody say it nothing missing Lorena nothing broken nothing missing nothing broken yeah my good church and God youth crew y'all see Pastor Steve Terry's on the line y'all remember purpose power and praise he came through for us but anyway back to it restoration full repair full repair y'all everybody nothing missing nothing broken I'm telling you God is going to redeem time he's going to redeem finances he's going to redeem health we just have to be in a line with it and let me say it in past tense because God has already done it I just keep declaring that there are blessings in the pipeline for you this year and as you continue to just get up each day y'all put one foot in front of the other I promise you there are blessings that have already been deposited on September the 1st there are blessings 
blessings that have already been deposited on September the 13th. There are blessings that have already been deposited on November the 9th. There are blessings that have already been deposited on November the 29th. Nod to my sister. There are blessings that have already been situated for you on December the 2nd. You just got to keep living and getting to it because his word declares that he will restore. Y'all, God will restore. Darkest, I was about to say that everybody out loud say already. Already. God has already done it. So here's what happened. There was residue in Queen Bathsheba's life. So here we go. She was caught in the crossfires of another man's schemes. Bathsheba had bled, had his, has historically, y'all, suffered the accusations accusations of being a seducer of sorts. That's the story they told us. That's what we had heard. That's what we had heard about it. Bathing within the gaze of the king's eye. She out there seducing. But queens, listen. Contextual studies reveal that her actions were not beyond the norm of cultural practices during that time. Both in factual and cultural norms, Bathsheba was simply a woman taking her regular bath. She became the target of the king's desire to have and add her to his cohort of wives and concubines. Now, I'm, I'm going to give some sidebars real quick. I'm already over time, but I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this. So we can do better, even as women, because I too, I have repeated the storyline of that seducing Bathsheba being out there on that roof. So y'all know we done already talked a bit about the other sides of the story and learning to extend grace and learning to, to not put our mouths on it so quick, not co-sign with the first version of what we hear. And I am so sure y'all that we have women, we have people, we, we have a pastor Terry y'all who, when you're in various, um, when you are in various uh, situations, sometimes simply just trying to survive it and sometimes just because you're mature. Good morning, Mama Connie. Oftentimes the, vict the victims do not go around telling their version of the story. Babe, they're just busy trying to survive. They're just busy trying to pick up the pieces of their lives. They're just busy trying to make their way through. And just because they're not talking about it and telling about it does not mean that the version of what you heard about it is always accurate. And we as women are going to do better about keeping our mouths off of it. We're, we as women are going to realize that all of us have walked through a something that it took just our all just to survive it and God knows whatever version of the story that people were hearing about us we didn't have the energy to go out there and try to fight it and get it right whether it was the church member talking about some decision that our good pastor Terry has made whether it was a divorce that somebody went through and you just trying to survive the divorce maybe your child was going through an addiction baby and you just over here trying to hold your child tight and hope that they don't commit suicide you victims often and do not have time to go out and try to fight the negative rumors and, and stuff that's happening all around them. While we may not be able to stop all of that drama from other people's mouth, we can stop it from our own mouths. And the next time that we hear about a version of the story, be grown enough and be mature enough to say, I'm not going to put my lips on it. Now I'm going to circle that all the way back to Queen Bathsheba. Listen, just track record alone on to tell us and give us a clue of who may be the guilty party in the situation. But for years, they have ran Queen Bathsheba through the coals, through the fire, as the woman who was on the rooftop seducing the queen king, both in a context, y'all, in biblical times, the way that things were often slanted, and it's the whole truth, the way that things were actually often slanted was through the vantage point of, of the of a of a male dominated society. That's the way that it was. And the reality is many of that much of that is reflected even today. That's why hashtag the Me Too movement kind of just took a life of its own because the women were tired of, of being harassed behind the scenes by these top producers and stuff. But by the time y'all go and tell the story, y'all say that it's consensual, that it's two sided. I'm, I'm merging a lot of stuff. I'm merging a lot of stuff and I'm gonna jump 
this one in real quick that don't have nothing to do with nothing. For those of you who have the <laughs> that college debt, y'all realize the president just forgave ten thousand and twenty thousand yesterday. That's a whole nother thing. I try to mix it all in because it matters. Now I'm back over here to this story. So Queen Bathsheba then got run through the codes, but y'all codes, but history says uh David was the one with multiple wives and concubines. He was the one with multiple wives and concubines. And listen, generationally, his son Solomon was the same way. So when you think about it, pre-Bathsheba getting mixed up with David, we ain't heard nothing about no Bathsheba going around seducing kings. We ain't heard nothing about no Bathsheba using her rooftop to bring in the other husbands and the whatever. I'm just talking to us real talk. The first time you hear about it is when she gets mixed in with a David who has a history of having multiple women and multiple wives and concubines. But David is presented in the story as if he is seduced y'all we got to do better we got to do better because Queen Bathsheba don't have no track record she got one incident with a man who has a track record of doing this type of behavior but when the story is told she is presented as the one who had the issue that's why day 25 is called crossfire and I know that I'm speaking to some folk on here today who understand what it is like for folk to go out and tell your version of the story in a way that paints you as the aggressor and as the guilty person but if you were to track track records you would understand you right you right my marriage ended like that, but track my track record. My, my life story took a shift when I engaged or interacted with this particular person. You right, I may have a little record now and somebody may have had to put something on my books, but that is not the totality of who I am. I got mixed up in that situation with so-and-so. Check my track record. So that's why today when we talk about crossfire and the residue of other people's choices and we have declared before and we're going to declare it again right here, right now, clean slate. Clean state, slate. God will restore to us what has been stolen. Receive all of what I just said. <laughs> Receive it all. I know I'm talking hurriedly and in a rush, but I want y'all to hear the depth of this because our lives can catch the residue of the poor choices that other people have made. But check my track record. Some of you, your credit feeling a little bit like it's feeling and you didn't have deep regrets about that but truth be told you co-signed for somebody else who didn't pay their bills or whatever relationship business partner or again a divorce whatever that is it took your finances through don't allow the enemy to cause you to embrace that you don't budget well and that you don't spend well acknowledge that there have been some decisions that rendered crossfire in your life and it impacted your it your finances it impacted your credit report honey but we sir listen to me what just dropped but the same one who allowed however he did because the heart of the kings is in his hand for the heart of the president to be touched. It's not a political conversation. This is a blessing conversation to somehow go in and settle. Y'all better hear me. I didn't put this together for day 25 to settle a discussion that has been in the, in the, in the Congress floors for years be made manifest yesterday and we are now going to have supernatural y'all better hear me supernatural debt cancellation i don't care who you voted for and what you think about with politics receive what i'm saying in the spirit realm kingdom citizen arrive i'm not talking politics i'm talking about blessings somebody was paying that 200 and something dollars a month trying to pay off and break up with a sally may and listen a supernatural debt cancellation just came for ten thousand dollars and listen i'll vote for any of y'all give me my stimulus check give me my supernatural debt cancellation give me uh reparations give me restoration i'm gonna receive it and i'm not gonna get so lost in political context
context that when a blessing come through like none of us were expecting when a single one of us a part of a meeting that would cause us to wake up the next day and have ten thousand dollars worth of cancellations or twenty thousand dollars worth of cancellations i receive it in every area of my life there are blessings in the pipeline for us this year and we're going to receive it act funny if you want to honey i I'll take any blessing. I don't care if the Republican president was to give it to me, a Democrat president was to give it to me, a liberal or a no, a, 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 a no political affiliation. However, my blessings are coming. Gina is receiving them all. Anybody in full agreement? So the spirit of what happened yesterday was folk been talking about something for years. Yesterday it became settled and millions of people across this nation are receiving supernatural debt cancellation. You better walk in it. Now you may not fit that, but, but other people's blessings are going to come in a different way and we are lining ourselves up to receive it. So the Bible, the scripture for today says restoration. Anybody out there saying, I'll take it. However, it's going to come reparations. I'll take it. So this chick has suffered through the consequences of another person's choices. Here we go. Here we go. She became the target of the king's desire to have and add her to his cohort of wives and concubines. Y'all ready? Meanwhile, Bathsheba was the wife of a soldier. Bathsheba minded her own business, Uriah the Hittite. He was often out in the fields of war and thus the spent she spent many days as a sole caretaker of her home. It didn't say she and Uriah were fighting. It didn't say they was having no marital problems. It didn't say they was dealing with infidelity and adultery. Honey, honey, that hear her story. Somebody said this her story right here. They done went over there and, and David had gotten her business and then we done all start talking about her through David's lens. But when you take a step back and just read about Bathsheba, Bathsheba was minding her business. Bathsheba was a caretaker of her home. Her marriage included the sacrificial giving of her husband, both his time and his energy to the well-being of the country. The same, this same wife, unaware of the plots of the king, he didn't call and talk to her about it. He didn't shoot her no text. He didn't slide into her DM. She was over there bathing, minding her business. The, 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 the same wife, unaware of the plot of the king, later became a grieving widow when the love of her beloved spouse was murdered. When, when the love of her beloved spouse was murdered. Her beloved spouse was murdered. Bathsheba birthed several children, including the full-term birth and subsequent death of the unnamed infant son of King David. Because now he in her life. Right here come her residue. Now she grieving the loss of a child. This precious child lost his young life. Now the kid's suffering consequences. Y'all, we speak, we speak, we speak clean slates over the children in our lives who suffered the consequences of somebody else's choices. Everybody, if you got a child that you love and you know they could be an adult one by now, but you know that some of the ways they carry on is because of the negligence of a different person in their lives, speak clean slates over them as well. So here we go. This precious child lost his young life as divine punishment for his father's choices. <laughs> father's choices now I'm not going to do no man bash especially with Pastor Steve Terry on here we love him um, but some of y'all know some of y'all's children and grandchildren and next generations they their lives reflect the residue of a father's choice whether an active one that made poor choices or an absent one y'all know so today we declare again I see you uh, Ricky declaring clean slates over our kids clean slates Clean slates over our kids. Okay, so the, uh, this mother certainly mourned the loss of the fruit of her womb. Due to choices beyond her own, Bathsheba suffered deep heartache several times over in various areas of her life. She lost her husband. She lost her child. She had to relocate to a home. And y'all know how women feel about their good homes. She had to relocate. She had to hear the rumors and the scandal of the town. Folk putting their lips on her lies with no clue that this is the residue of a choice that he made and now it showed up in my life and in those days I gotta do what he said do 
but this was not what I chose. Did nobody ask me to vote? I did not co-sign. I was not a part of the meeting. They didn't ask me for my input when they showed up in my life. Y'all get that? Okay, so here goes. This son... Okay, Bathsheba suffered deep heartache several times over in various areas of her life after sovereign consequences were lifted. Huh. Bathsheba now wed to the King David, gave birth to the beloved son Solomon. This son, y'all, became known to this day in good 2022 as the wisest man who ever lived. Somebody say restore. Because of David's choices, God allowed consequences to come. But man, when he lifted that stuff, to this day, King Solomon, the son of Bathsheba, is known as the wisest king that ever lived. And you best believe with all of his riches and castles and crowns, that dude took care of his mama. Redemption, y'all. Restoration. Here we go. We're done. I know we over, Gene. I ain't going to look at the time today. Reflection. Bathsheba's inability to explain her suffering and shame. Y'all, we done been there. I got first ladies on here who've walked through some divorces. Y'all get this. Bathsheba's inability. It didn't mean you don't have the words and you can't tell it. Your maturity and your spirituality. Come on, somebody. Your maturity and your spirituality won't let you go and say your version of the story. It's not that you're confused. It's not that you didn't know the truth. Somebody, somebody, y'all hear me on today? It's not that you, wasn't, you were confused and you didn't know the truth. Between your maturity and your spirituality, between counting up the cost of what it would do for your kids or the, or the church or whatever, some of you just did not tell your stories. And I'm telling you, God is going to reward what you covered. God is going to reward your spirituality and your maturity. Receive that. You don't go and blast into your kids. You know every gift under the tree came because you went and got it and put his name under it on it God is going to cover God is going to no God is going to redeem God is going to restore God is going to reward in your restoration everything that you cover for the sake of maturity y'all Bathsheba's inability to explain her suffering and shame without expressing the true culprit was possibly limited in her day she couldn't go around telling what the king did she has been ill reputed for choices that were beyond her own making. Has another person's poor decision choices ever impacted your life? Have you ever had to take the negative rap for something that was beyond your control? Somebody need to be saying here for the sake of another woman. Have you ever had to take the negative rap for something that was beyond your control? Have you made room for the father's redemptive grace? To restore your loss to you. We're done y'all. Crossfire. When them, when them negative choices of other folk. Catches your life. <laughs> but I am declaring for every woman. On this feed. And everyone who will join and watch the replay. Pastor Johnny Ogletree. You in the room today too. We see you. I am declaring. As the scripture has said. God has restored there are blessings in the pipeline for you this year that encompass the rest the y'all let me give you these words y'all just say them out loud in your own homes with me somebody just say restoration i feel it in my spirit restoration somebody say it restoration somebody say recompense that means to pay back somebody say reparations that means everything i've ever been owed not just for today, the history of what's owed to me. The history of what's due me. Y'all get it? Reparations, recompense, restoration, repair. Y'all get it? I declare all of those over your lives. Y'all get it? Yeah. Restoration. Mm -hmm. Recompense is to pay you back. It's to pay. Reparations is to give you the history of what's due you. Yeah. Yeah repair all of it so that like I shared about those resold shoes the restoration looks better than brand new the restoration looks better than brand new that's my declaration if you can receive it y'all say I receive it 
God, do it and then do it all over again. Bless them and then bless them all over again. Bless them and then bless them all over again. And just when they think there could be nothing else that you would do, bless them all over again. I'm so over time. I have to get this one out to y'all though. We're going to do better. I'm going to do better, right? Yeah. Bless them and then bless them all over again. I will see you right back here for our Friday. Friday somewhere. Yeah. Six in the morning. I'll see you right back here as we continue to go through our, our reflection piece. 31 days of reflection. We'll be on day number 26 tomorrow. Queens see queens. And as y'all know, I say we're talking about queens seeing other queens. I see you, Sarah. Reparations. But the first queen that I want you to see is the queen that's on the inside of you. Again, Captains and Crowns is coming. That's going to be our event for us. And as always, I honor the greatness that is on the inside of you. Y'all, I got to go. Y'all hug another queen. Jog under their name. Give them a quick heart or something. Tell them good to see them. Let's love on one another. I'll see y'all in the morning. Alrighty, take care.